Right now we're over at Gibraltar and they put this display together because they wanted to show that Gibraltar gear will work with everybody's drums and anybody's drums. Um, so they've put together this, this kit with uh, clear plexiglass shells. Um, it looks very, very cool. Now if we just go around the other side, one stand they've got, one thing new is this, which is an SPDS stand. Um, very simple, but they, uh, they, they were a little bit tired of seeing people trying to clamp their SPDSs and multipads onto normal cymbal stands. They wanted to come up with something good, proper, and nice and solid. Now, if you're a drum builder, uh, Gibraltar are going to start doing, or have started doing, some more vintage-style uh, gear. This is a vintage three-point strainer and a vintage-style butt end. There's going to be more uh, coming out through the year, through the next couple of years. And just while we're here, there's a mini pocket-sized travel practice pad, pocket practice pad. It's got Velcro, so it'll go around your hand or whatever. Um, and you, you can stick it in your pocket. We've seen proof of it. Gibraltar have got into the uh, cases area. Now, this is something a bit special. It looks like a normal case, but it adjusts for both width and depth. So if I just pull the handle open and undo it, there's Velcro, which means I can adjust the actual width of the case. So if I've got a Tom uh, with, a, with a rims mount on it, I'll need something a little bit bigger. If, I've got a, if I want to use the same case for a snare drum, I just shrink it down so it's nice and snug. But not only that, if I undo this zip here, which I'm trying to do one-handed, here we go. I can also make this case adjust from a 14 by five and a half to a 14 by six and a half. I can just put an extra inch in. 